سو دون دوت عبد الرحمن السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته نعم نيم ستيت اند كويشن بليز نيم دي وفاء من كاناديا سيستر وفاء ما شاء الله وير از يور كويشن تونايت I know you probably tired of me. I call all the time and ask questions. That's and fine. It's, it, no, you know the beautiful thing about this show that we have regular callers now. And uh, I want to say something so that you always come up with questions that benefit the, uh, the Ummah. And I like that. I'm not tired of anybody. Please, this show is everybody's, including you, Afa. You call anytime you feel like you want to call. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, well, um, my question, well... I had a question about, like, in the Quran it says that the men, when they're in Jannah, they, they, they get, like, the Qur'an Ayn and what they, what they um, get from the Jannah. And my question was, the first question was, um, it says what the men receive, but I haven't, like, read anywhere where it says what the women receive. And I have a teacher that told me that the women are Qur'an Ayn. I'm not really sure. Uh, first of all, you're going to be with your husband in Jannah. Um, okay. And this is, by the way, disturb some people I know. <laughs> but uh, remember, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, says about the spouses in Jannah, wa azwajun mutahara, they will be purified. Um, you know a story you probably heard me saying it more than one time, but I never said it on the air, uh, Sister Wafa. So I'm going to say it. Um, you know, uh, as we're talking about family, I and mean, this is this concept is so important uh, that you know a, a lot of men uh, and women sometimes, uh, after they get married for maybe 10, 15 years, and and and, and you know when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, uh, mentioned the nature of the the relationship between the spouses, he said this: وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ جَعَلَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنْفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً And one of the signs of Allah, one of the signs actually of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He made for you from your own selves, mate, spouses, huh? and He placed between you the two things, مَوَدَّة, which is the love, and then رَحْمَةً which is mercy. Sometimes love, you know, fades away, diminishes, and then, you know, the, 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 the husband is walking around the street and he sees all these women, how they are dressed and, you know, and then he goes home and he sees his wife because she's been there for a while. Then he tries, you know, Satan begins whispering to him, you know what, you made the wrong, the wrong choice. And sometimes Satan tells him, is that the person you're going to spend your life with until the end of your life? Come on. And this is how he plays in the mind of husband. And the same thing applies to the wife. So we tell the spouses, listen, think about paradise. Think about Jannah. Okay? If you keep that relationship, if you keep that marriage alive, inshallah your wife is going to be with you in Jannah. And your husband is going to be with you in Jannah. But with one uh, difference, with one uh, uh, thing here, with one condition, that they will be purified. So there was this man, you know, who, uh, whose wife died, and you know, he's acting up a little bit, you know, he's crying and, and saying, you know, he's weeping and, and, and tears coming out as they are burying, uh, you know, his wife. Uh, he's standing in, in the cemetery, and so somebody spotted him, someone who has the knowledge of the religion, he spotted him. So he said, you know what, I want to go and comfort my brother, you know, and, and then he went to, the, uh, to him and he whispered in his ears, and he said, don't worry, she will be with you in Jannah. And then he looked at him and said, really? No way. And then he spoke loud and he said, everybody, Allah, you know, and Allah, bear witness, I divorce her, I divorce her, I divorce her. Three times. Now this person doesn't realize that she will be purified. You know, basically your husband will be the way that you want your husband to be in this dunya and better in Jannah. Mm -hmm. And your wife will be the way that you want your wife to be, that you dream your wife to be in this dunya and she cannot be because she is also tested. 
You know, a lot of, uh, you know, the, uh, I was reading as, you know, this subject, I've been uh, discussing it in, in the masjid as well. Um, you know, as I was reading, uh, you know, you're expecting a, a complete uh, husband as a wife. And the husband is expecting a complete wife, but we forget that we're supposed to complete one another. <laughs> That no one is perfect, really. ف, uh, yes, uh, the talk in the Quran and the Sunnah about the men getting, but they will have their spouses in the dunya, but they will be purified. And guess what, Sister Wafa? This is a very important thing. Even if the husband gets extra Hur al you see, the wife is not going to feel any jealousy like she does in the dunya. You see, we're going to be refashioned for Jannah. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam means that's why I want you, my dear viewers, to think of Jannah. We're going to be brought younger, the age of 30, 33, Hadith Mu'ad, fi Sunan al-Tirmidhi. Okay? We're going to be having the shape of our father Adam, 62, uh, uh, arm length. Uh, we're not going to go to the bathroom in Jannah. This is one of the most fascinating things about Jannah, that you don't have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> you know, you eat... Not because you're hungry. And you know what, sisters? You don't have to worry about slim fast. Seriously. You drink not because you're thirsty. Huh? Not because you, because you desire to drink. You desire to eat. Wine. You know, wine of Jannah. The wine of Jannah. Allah said about Ladha. It tastes good. Are you going to get high without having to vomit and, and, and throw up and look like a, a silly dude in front of your friends? We have, you see, so uh, basically to go back and answer your question, Sister Wafa, even so the Quran did not speak about uh, uh, something for the women, but they will have their husbands, and if they were not married in the dunya, or they died before marriage, Allah will give them husbands in the dunya, and they will be content with their husbands. Even if their husbands get allowance <laughs> of extras, this is not going to drive them uh, to feel jealousy at all. And this is the explanation of this, but I believe there is unseen that we do not know about. But rest assured that you're going to be the happiest. Ya ikhwa, al-jannah, al-jannah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says about it. Fiha ma la aynun, Allah subhanahu alayhi wa sallam, actually, hadith Qudsi. A'adattu li ibadi as-salihin, ma la aynun ra'at. I have prepared for my righteous servants what an eye never seen, what an ear never heard, and whatever you think of right away in front of you, close your eyes, French fries, right here, French fries. You don't have to wait for the oil to cook and buy the oil and get the salt. French. And guess who, who serves you in Jannah, Mr. Rafa? Who serves you in Jannah? Huh? Who? Angels, angels, ya Tuf, ya Allah, oh Allah, make all my viewers, all my Muslim Ummah, all the Muslims, the dwellers of Jannah, and I'm with them, Ya Rab, inshallah. Jazakallah khairan, Sister Rafa. Call us again, inshallah. I had, I had one more question.